Right. Uh, so this is, so I'm Kyle. Uh, I normally work in Python for the last probably two, three months. I've been doing a lot more JavaScript. And I'm really happy. And uh, while I was at a scientific Python conference over the weekend, I said, man, I really love NPM. It's really good. And then I should go find a JS meetup in San Antonio. And so that's what brought me here today. So, yeah. So the, the main thing that I work on is uh, this notebook, which I'll make bigger. Um, right. And so people will work in, like if there's an R developer, so some statistician, um, they, can, they can edit uh, Markdown directly inside the notebook here. And they can run their plots here. And so we get back these plots. And so this gives them an environment that they can uh, edit the document and document it, like you know, basically literate programming of like whatever they're working on, as well as like rich, rich plots and even interactivity. So I don't have a demo here. I have a different demo somewhere. This one may or may not work. Oh, right. Okay. So the, the same architecture, basically. So what you see here, this is a. So I've got a plot, and someone might be exploring some parameter space. Like they've got some function, they're trying to figure out something like within their, their research area, and they can just go ahead and change it. Um, I mean, so this is communicating back to some, some Python backend, and it's using a very, very long, old, like long history code uh, within NumPy. Uh, it's like numerical libraries for Python, um, and this plotting library called matplotlib for them to do stuff without having to write any JavaScript, and so they get this like environment. Um, yeah, and yeah, and so people work within Python, Ruby, Julia, R, and a whole bunch of different languages. Uh, and some people end up writing books with these. Um, so, like a simple one here is this uh, probabilistic programming book. So, right here, it's this narrative text, kind of long form blog post, but at the same time, in between, I don't know if you guys are on the first page here. Like he'll write his actual code for someone to read through and work with. Um, like this one, I can't actually execute because it's a static page, but but that's the basics for it. Um, yeah. And so O'Reilly's now using this stuff through their learning site. So the one that they just put up. So I've been working with them on this. Um, which is that, so they'll have some content, and so this is teaching about pivot tables in Python. Uh, so like, you, know, you have the same narrative text, so it's that same notebook format, and then instead here, you can actually run with um, some like interactive data set. So I'm working through this data set that I just loaded. Right, and there could be, you know, gigabyte, there could be, you know, just megabytes of data, gigabytes of data, whatever, but I'm communicating back to this, this backend the whole time. Uh, and the way that these like, Interactive demos work is that they're all in a Docker container that's that sandbox and that farmer on top of it. Um, yeah, and it just sends back a result that can be interpreted in the front end um, across languages. And that's it. That was my overview. Made up in a few seconds. <laughs> yeah. Any questions?